Welcome back, baseball fans, to the summer 69-72 carryover league. We are wrapping up the end of the third round of series uh, before the All-Star break. And um, we are at fourth place finishers a year ago across the National League from east to west. Padres and Marlins finished fourth accordingly in their divisions. Let's take a look at the standings, though. Um, now that we have uh, kind of an idea of what's happening this year, at least a, a handle, at least of a narrative, what, what to expect. American League East, the Yankees are off to a hot start, 10 and three. They have to be the front runner here. We expect them to sag in the second half so the schedule gets tougher. And really, the Red Sox and Orioles are just sort of stumbling out of the gate, but they're still over 500, even with a stumble. Blue Jays have some pluck here. The North is awful. I mean, the high players are at 500. Everybody else is below it for whatever reason. Indians have just had some horrendous luck. Out in the Midwest, this is a good division. Everybody's 500 or above. Uh, we talked about the Twins and Royals being the favorites, but it's the Brewers. And the White Sox are actually playing good baseball as well. So that division has not been determined at all. Out west, your Cinderella is the worst of first, California Angels. Even though they have an 8 1 start, they're still just two games ahead of the Dynasty Oakland A's. Mariners and Rangers aren't getting the wins, but they are playing tight baseball games, and these teams could easily be a couple more wins in the. Uh, in the win column here. There's tough loss, tough breaks for these guys. National League, looks like a two-man, two-team race in the National League East. Braves and Mets, uh, half game apart. These Marlins and the Phillies look like they're bottom feeders. Big Red Machine got off of that disappointing World Series loss last year with a hot start this year. A confused Pirates team expected to uh, be the World Series representative in the National League. However, they are off to a rather lackluster start, much like the Orioles. So um, they have to get things going. They got to punch it up a notch because this this red team can, at any moment can just run away from the pack. Um, in the Mountain, it's hard to say what goes on in this division, other than this Portland Super Expansion team has gotten lucky to get a nine and seven record. It's a lot of baseball games early on. Two over 500, but generally only one team makes the playoffs. Last year was the Rockies. There's still plenty of time for the Rockies to come back and get this thing back on track. And out west, Dodgers have 11 wins. Game and a half in front of the Astros, and it's the Giants is another stunning one. Probably the biggest fall from Grace. They are five and nine this year, and they got some work to do. They got a lot of work to do to get back to where they were. The Padres and Marlins today, though, the Padres won the first two games in San Diego and are now a game over 500. Break up the pads. Marlins, after losing those two games, fall to two under. So that's where we're at. Game three in Florida. They need to win both of these. Games three and games four. To send it back to San Diego for a game five. Your pitchers for the Padres, Jim Bunning. And for your Florida Marlins, Mike Kilkenny, let's get it started from Miami. Here's Ed Spezio. 1-5, take a look at Spezio's card to start the game. Homer, 1-2-11, double, and that's a double. Chris Canizero, 1-8, let's take a look at his card. They come out swinging to the pods. Homer, 1-13, he rolls a 12 and it is gone. Padres have their eyes on a sweep here. Laron Lee, 2-8, grounds a second. Nate Colbert, hit by pitch. Cito Gaston, 3-11, is a walk. 2-1, one, one out for Ollie Brown. 4-10, this guy's left. And Al Ferrara strikes out. The bottom of one, Ken Suarez, 2-9, grounds short. Vic Davileo, 1-4, rolls a second. And Manny Mota, a single in 110 with two outs. Willie Montanez, 43 off the bunning card, rolls with the first. First baseman is Nate Colbert, a 2E6. And that's a base hit. Two on, two outs for Chico Simone. He bounces one to third. This is Ed Spezio. 
Three twenty-three at third base, and he makes the play. Top of the second. Dave Campbell, 66, bounces a short. This would be Chico Ruiz at short. Chico's a 4 10 at short. Makes the play. Rich Morales, 64 is a catcher's card. Suarez at 2e5. And with two outs, it's easy. Ed Spezio again, 6 11, bouncer to short. And again, the four makes the play. Bottom of two. Hal McRae. Two seven. Finds the second base. Roger Repose. Three eleven. Bounces the second. Jose Pagan. Fifty six. This guy's left. All right. Top of the third in Florida. Chris Canizero. Five eleven is a K. Laron Lee. Thirty seven is a walk. Nate Colbert, 2-8 is a K. And with two outs, Cito Gaston, 3-10 is single dot. Two on, two outs for Ollie Brown, 37 is a K. And it stays 2-zip. Chico Ruiz, 1-6, skies the center. Ken Southbound Suarez, singles. Vic Davilio, 47 is a K. And with two outs. It is Manuel Mota, 63, bounce to the first. Two zip in the fourth. Al Ferrara, 69, bounce the second. Dave Campbell, 38, is a single. B Steeler. Morales will try a hit and run here. I like to do that with number nine hitters. B Steeler's betting eighth if I can. That is going to be advancing the runner. So a runner at second, two outs for Easy Ed Spezio, 37 is a walk. Two on. Two out. Kilkenny's put a ton of guys on base. Only two have scored. That could change. Chris Canizero, 4-11. Bouncer to first. This is Willie Montanez, 317. He he would become a better fielder than that, but it's good enough. It gets the job done. And it stays two zip. Kilkenny gets out of the mess. Okay. Willie Montanez, 69. Homer one of three. Double off the bunning card is a double. Chico, Simone, Kays. Hal McRae, 63, bounces the first. Runner goes to third with two outs for Roger Repose. 39, bounces the third. We go to the fifth. Laron Lee, 2 6, base hit. Nate Colbert, 53, left X. This is Davily on left, a 2 e 7, and he makes the catch. Cito Gaston, 2 6, is a base hit into right. Field, Laron Lee, does he go coast to coast here? 13 against the repo's arm, no. So, you've got first and second with one out, Ollie Brown. 58, Ollie Brown, this time Kilkenny cannot get the magic going. It's double 103, single dot dot off the pitcher's card. That is an RBI single. 3 nothing. runners in the corners, they bring it up for Ferrara. 111, short B, gun down to the plate. Nice play there. First and second, two outs for Dave Campbell. Bounce to short. So he minimizes the damage, but he does give up three runs through five innings. Does Mike Kilkenny. And let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. <sighs> oh, Earl Grey going today, folks. All right, bottom of the fifth. 3 nothing game. Jose Pagan. 68. Number 1 to 6 is a base hit. Chico Ruiz. 68. Triple 1 single dot dot is a triple 1. There it is in the orange box, folks. A triple 1 off of the bunning card. Rolls under the glove. And I should have given him an error, but they give it a trip roll it a triple. That makes it 3 to 1. Runner at third for Suarez. They'll play back with nobody out and a two-run lead. Suarez, 57, is a base hit in the center, and it's 3-2. to two. Well, Here come the Marlins. Vic Davilio, 112, short B. He's an ace stealer, though. Vic Davilio and Canizero, what's his arm? Minus one, hmm. 
if it was two outs. Manuel Moda. 68. Again, we're hitting bunting pretty frequently this inning. Double one to six is a single dot dot. You have runners on the corners. The one run lead, they'll bring it up for Willie Montanez. 65 is a grounder to short. This is Morales. He is a 3E20. Chance to take the lead here with a single, and they do! Uh, Morales can't get a glove on it. That is a single dot dot. And we have a tie game. And we have runners on the corners with one out. Um, let's play it back to get, to get a double play. Chico Simone, 37 is a K. And with two outs, Hal McRae. 210, let's take a look at Hal McRae's card. Well, you know, he would be with the Reds and with the Royals. But as it turns out, those teams are so loaded that he was left unprotected and the Marlins wanted to make him a everyday DH for probably the entire decade of the 1970s. So McRae, this is his 72 card. Uh, 210, homer 111, double. That's going to be a double in a center field. One run, run on scores, Montanez. Thinking about rounding third, 14, 15, 16. He's going to challenge the gas and arm minus two, makes it a one to 14. And he scores on that one. A nice two run double. Montanez gives the Marlins a 5 3 lead. Jim Bunning, final batter of the inning. Repose, 3 6. This guy's all right. Five to three. Kilkenny, now a pitcher of record. We'll put him in a can't lose category. Puts a couple guys on, we'll hook him. Rich Morales, 68, single, which could be very soon. Ed Spazio, 47, is a walk. That's it. Seen it off. Seen too much. Kilkenny leads after five and two batters. Let's get a righty in here. Let's get a long righty in here. We're going to go with um, Sandy Vance. Comes trotting out of the Florida bullpen. He's also a swing starter for him. Starter relief, relief starter. So he will face Canizero. First and second, nobody out for the 5-3 lead. Canizero. 67 is a base hit off the Vance card to right field. Morales, 13 runner, will hold. Loaded, nobody out. What do you do here? Laron Lee, <laughs> Colbert and Gaston. Well, you got a two run lead, so you're playing back. Laron Lee, 44, center X. This is Moda, it's a 2E16. And uh, he rolls a two, and it's just a lonely fly ball eight. No tag up on the play, it was too shallow. So there's one out. Playing back, hoping for a Colbert double play here. 62, second X, but the second baseman is Chico Simone. That's not good. Yeah, he's a 40-41 uh, at second base. That's not gonna help a lot, a four, but he gets a ground ball B. Fielder's choice, I'll take it. Got yeah, runners on the corners, two outs for Gaston. 49, sky's a center field. So Vance gets out of the inning, minimizing the damage. It's five to four. Bunning at a bad fifth. But otherwise, we'll let him go again. Who's a Pagan? 2 7 is a K. Ruiz 1 3, lines a third. And Suarez 5 10. Skies it into center field. This is Gaston, a 2 e 10 in center field. It makes the catch. 5 4 in the seventh. Vance with Leonard, Bergmeier, and Pena available. Here's Ollie Brown. 3-8. Fly to left. Al Ferrara. 6-10. Bouncer to short. Really should have thought of bringing some defense in. Anyway, Ruiz at short is a 4-E-10. And 4-E-10. That's going to be a single. Tie run is aboard for Dave Campbell. And he will hit away. 1-7 is a K. And with two outs, Rich Morales. 1-7, Morales is a single to right field. Won't make the final out of third base. So you have first and second, two outs, and it's easy Ed Spezio against Sandy Vance, his mess. 
the pitch. 59 off the Vance card as a roller to second base and the inning is over. Marlins take a 5-4 lead into the seventh inning stretch. We are listening to the Afro-Cubism LP Molly Cuba combination there. Musicians from both con uh, parts of the world including Ilya Zachoa. So yeah, great record. You can get this one. Um, bottom of the seventh. Bunning, 5-4. He went three up and three down last inning. You got some lefties coming up. Let's go with the Gibbon. We're gonna hook Bunning after six and bring in Joe Gibbon for the seventh inning. Joe Gibbon. And it'll be Davileo leading off. 1-5, Davileo, take a look at his card. Homer won a 16 double, and that is a double to center field. And a runner at second base to start the inning, and the pitching coach comes out to the mound and says, hey, stop monkeying around. All right, sorry about that, had to do it. All right, runner at second for Manny Moda. 3-6 for Moda is a single dot dot, and that scores the run. And the Gibbon is not playing nice here. Um, six to four. Montanez will stick around. 35 flies to right. Simone. 39 is a 6 4 3 double play. Well, that worked out. All right. So it's now 6 4. Vance has gone two innings. Bergmeier likes to set up Pena, so here's Tom Bergmeier in the eighth, coming out of the Florida bullpen. And yes, we talked about defense. Oh yeah, let's bring some in. We've got a problem at shortstop and second base. Technically first base too. We can let um, Simone, actually Simone can leave the game, and we'll just put uh, guard, I went for him at second. And we'll put Susa Cesar Gutierrez in there at short for Chica Ruiz. So, we have improved our defense up the middle. Everywhere else is good enough. 6-4 game, 6 outs to go, 2 run lead. Tom Bergmeier in for the Marlins. Here's Canizero in the 8th. 1-11, sky's the left, and hurts himself. He'll exit the game. Dabrin will have to finish, the backup catcher. LaRon Lee, 59, bounce at the second. And Nate Colbert, 32, skies a left. Six to four. Seen enough of the given. And we'll go to Dukes. Tom Dukes will come on in, the eighth inning. For your San Diego Padres. And he'll face Hal McRae. One five is a single. Roger Repos, 67, K. Okay. Pagan, 39, third. And with two outs. Third B, I should say. And with two outs, it's Cesar Gutierrez, 110, this guy's a center field. Okay, it's the ninth inning. These guys really beat lefties pretty good. So, we will go Jose Pena. Take a look at Jose. He'll be your closer for your Marlins. And uh, let's see how this goes. With Gaston, Brown, Farrar in the ninth. All their defenses in. Here we go. Cito, Gaston. 110. Let's take a look at Cito's card. That's a base hit. What a year he had here in 1970. 318, 29 bombs, 620 plate appearances. Outstanding year. Range arm. My goodness. So the tie run is at the plate in the presence of Ollie Brown. Let's take a look at Ollie. No slouch either. This guy's going to throw the ball. You know that. 23 home runs and 570 plate appearances. Ollie Brown, 69 off Pena. Second X defensive replacement is Gil Gerardo. A 3-E-8. This should be possibly double play, at least an out. 3-E-8. It's a cheap single off Gerardo to the 3-E-8. Unbelievable. Terrible break for the Marlins. 
couple cracks at that and they could not get a handle on it and it's ruled a single dot. The tying runs are on board with nobody out. And it's Ferrara. Let's take a look at Al. Ferrara. Ferrari. Nice mix of power and on base here. The pitch to Al Ferrara. 55 is a K. You can see some pinch hitters. No lefties left in the Marlin bullpen. So we can use left-handed pinch hitters here. We have Hunts and Stewart available. Let's go with... Um, Stewart's got power. Hunts has it. Hunts has it as well. Let's go with Stewart though. Batting for Dave Campbell will be Jim Stewart. Let's take a look at Jim's card. He was sort of that utility guy on that big red machine team. Could play the infield and the outfield and you know pinch hit and so forth. And here he gets the spot on the Padre roster. So first and second one out. Jim Stewart, a lefty with power against Jose Pena. The pitch. 55 is a bouncer to second. And this time, it is a 4-6-3 double play. And the game's over. Wow, nice play there. By the second base and give up the single dot on the previous at bat. This time, they hit it right back to him and he gets the GBA with first and second and one out of the ninth inning. And just like that, the Marlins get themselves a much needed victory. Congratulations, Florida. Six to four. So, let's take a look at your box here. Pena gets the save. Two hits in the beginning of the inning, then he comes back with a strikeout and a double play. Bergmeier, three up and three down. Sandy Vance's steady performance was the star of the game, the hold. He gave up um, a single to Canizero. Two more hits, and a, three hits and a K, but nobody scored, except his inherited runner. So, the winner, the winning pitcher, It was five, yeah, actually, yeah, it was 5-4, then 6-4. So, believe it or not, Kilkenny does survive to get the win, even though he didn't pitch very well. You have eight hits, all four runs. Walk five, struck out four. Wow, what a lousy line to get a win, but he got it. Uh, let's see, Dukes, you have hit in a K. Given gave up an insurance run, uh, double, and a single, two hits and a run. Funding though takes a loss. It was a bad fifth inning. That was his undoing. Ten hits, five runs. Everything there was earned. Didn't walk anybody, but struck out four. 1019, 0108, 613, 413. 5605. Yeah, the Padres put 18 men on base to Florida's 13. Probably should have won that game. They let it slip away. Blew the 3 0 lead. Would cost them. Would cost them 1019, 0108, 613, 413, 5605. That is game three. Home team has won every game. Don't know, can't make a lot out of that. The key in strat is getting your road wins. That's how you know you got a good team. To win on the road, you kind of need to pretty much do everything hit well, power, on base, good bullpen, good defensive substitutions. The whole nine yards are usually put in play when you consistently start winning on the road. But these teams have plenty of holes in the roster. They're happy just to get home wins. So the Marlins improved to four and five. They are hitting 256 with a 335 team ERA. That's not bad. And the Padres, they fall to five and five. They're hitting 240 with a 434 ERA. They're kind of happy just to be at five and five. And year to date, we have played 208 games. The league is hitting 259 with a 390 team ERA. That'll do it today. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time. Welcome back, baseball fans. It's all over here. Um, Five-game series. Home team wins every game. Not a lot to say here. Um, two evenly, you know, six and six. Padres, 241, 381 ERA, six and six. And the Marlins, well, they are 
finding themselves at five and six, 262, 341 ERA. Not expected to contend, but they get to play a competitive series against fellow cellar dwellers. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time.